Mike's Daily Podcast. It's Mike Matthews doing a podcast. Monday was a, that wasn't a good day. Mike's Daily Podcast. But here we are. It's FF episode 2271 2271, and this is fun because Mike Matthews is going to take the day off tomorrow and he's going to run around, enjoy it, and have a good time. I may or may not do a podcast. I don't know. It's going to be on the fly. I like you. You like me. Why are we starting to cry? I don't know. But here's how you should organize your garage. Mike's Daily Podcast. Does your garage need some organizational help? Here's what you can do to make it better. Mike's Is you Daily Take the stuff Podcast That's in the big boxes Yeah Take it out to the curb Sit there with a big sign saying Garage sale Have a little pot of coffee there And people will stop by That guy down the street will go What kind of tools do you have? There And you'll talk and you'll You'll have a wonderful time So Here's another idea. You can take measurements and group items that logically belong together. Consider storing frequently used items lower and infrequently used items higher. Wait now, for me being a tall person, that would be in reverse. Maximize vertical space by installing shelving such as the, uh, like one of those wheeled rack ones. And I guess they can move that around, except when you have an earthquake and then it falls over and hurts a small thing of some sort. Consider installing a wall storage system and create a work surface with a bench. Wow. I love, you know, you need... In my house, I need lots and lots of tabletops. Because I always seem to have a beverage in my hand. No, I'm not an alcoholic. But I'm always drinking water or coffee, and I'm walking, or root beer, because it's cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcast Valley. And here's today's podcast picture. Podcast Valley, Mont, the last place on earth. And, you know, spilling something is a pain. That's just not fun. So two years ago, hey, I just got a call. Who called Mike Matthews all of a sudden? Or, or, or texted me during my podcast? Ooh, this is exciting. Um. Oh. Okay. Someone asking a question that I don't know the answer to. That's fun in the middle of a podcast. But see, I'm a podcaster that is also a manager. So I walk a fine line, Basil. Oh, the late great Basil the Boxer. There's going to be a very heartbreaking picture I'm going to post this Saturday. This Saturday will be the one year anniversary of Basil's passing. And it'll be a picture of me with Basil in his, uh, his, his, uh, his ashes are in a box, a very nice wooden box, cedar box that has this, uh, little, the little black stripes on it, the way Basil had brindle stripes. I might do a... I'm not going to do a podcast this week. Two years ago? Maybe we can find a, po- a Basil picture. Yeah, I think I got one right here. We'll, we'll go with that. Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. See the podcast picture and all the past podcast pictures. And as I have said before, I do not, I do not like to post on social media when a dear loved one, loved being passes because then it becomes a popularity contest and I'm thinking if it's if it really matters to you you're a friend of mine and I'm telling you in person I'm telling you over the phone because this is big news so my lovely lady friend's aunt a very dear dear aunt passed away the uh, uh, very important person in the family helped out everybody at one point in the family everybody loved her dearly she died rather young age of 70 and my lovely lady friend in fact is going to fly back to New York to see her or uh, you know to see the, the memorial to see a bunch of her um, relatives and as they remember her aunt and they're going to 
And, and, and so how did she find it? She found out with a very important phone call that was made to her by her mom, which makes sense. And I don't know, somehow in this world with our social media, a lot of things don't make sense anymore. We once were able to make sense out of simple things, like how you release the information that someone important has passed away. Not just publicizing a big thing on the internet, like it's a big news story. It's not, it's an important piece of information that's shared intimately between people over a phone that may not be the most personal way it's very impersonal in many ways but as any communications professor will tell you there is varying degrees of communication and of course the best way to communicate is face to face and then there's the phone and then there's the text and the computer and the, the letters and the email well a letter at least you put some work into it you're writing on a piece of paper you have to find the stamp you have to find the address you have to find a mailbox a post person to mail it and you know then you have to wait a certain amount of time till the letter gets to someone etc emails are a little more instant and then you've got the social media where you're commenting under a story that you saw that someone posted about someone dying and if it's someone that means a lot it, it's just so I hate it I hate it that's why I I told the people that were important to me that knew Basil, you know, when he passed. And I talked about it on the podcast because, honestly, if you're an avid Mike's Daily Podcast listener, you're important to me. You're a, you're a cool person. Thank you for listening to the show. So I talk about it. Also, it's a, it's a big part of me. And I this podcast is a big part of me. And I discuss stuff in my life. And then uh, bring it in around to the Mike's Daily Podcast to share with you. Holy heck, I'm getting a lot of texts today. Uh, all right. Don't bug me when I'm doing my podcast. Texts. I'm just so anti-social media right now. Anti the whole uh, technology and whatever. Just gonna ignore texts, emails, and social media. In fact, I'm gonna shut off my computer altogether tomorrow. So, yeah, no podcast, I decided. No podcast tomorrow. But you can tell me what you think. 336 mm daily. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6 mm is the Mike Matthews daily, is and what this podcast will not be. Because Mike's gonna take tomorrow off, like he took yesterday off. Leave me alone. So on my day off, I'm going to do a couple of things. Here are some suggestions. When you take a day off, you should maybe lay out, if it's sunny, an awesome way to spend your day off. Soaking up some sun, getting a tan is relaxing and rewarding. If you don't get some, if you don't get sunburned, so don't forget the sunblock and take a nice day off, taking advantage of what Mother Nature gives us. You also don't want to get the heat stroke if it's too hot, which, which it has been lately, as you know, through most of the USA. Read a book. It doesn't matter if you're outside or inside. Grab that book you've been wanting to read and get to it. Life is super busy and you don't always have the time to enjoy the simpler things. But this is the perfect chance to. So grab that book and grab a seat and enjoy your day off with a day filled with your favorite or newest book. Make a yummy meal. There's not always time in the day for you to plan out a nice meal. Get all the ingredients, get the nice recipe, you get the, you see the, the, the the finished product and you're like, ooh, I want to make that. Oh my gosh, that's it. I'm done turning off the phone. This is it. This is done. You stupid, stop texting me. This is the uh, perfect chance as well. If you, even if you're not the best cook, It's fun. You have time to look up a fun recipe. Turn it into something awesome and delicious. Go on an adventure. This is the perfect chance to go somewhere new. Take some friends with you. Take some snacks. Just go. This is the best way to spend your day off. Unless you hate people. Then maybe not. Or go by yourself. Yes. I like to... I've gone on many hikes by myself since Basil has passed. Actually, going with an animal, going with a dog on a walk, oh, 
that's an adventure. That's fun. So many great adventures with Basil the Boxer. In fact, podcast picture is of an adventure we took a year ago. Well, two years ago. Go fishing. Now, I don't know about that. I don't have all the fishing gear, but that is, does sound like fun. For a lot of people, Very it gets rid of the stress. Go hiking. That's kind of like a, one of the things. Well, Basil and I did a bunch of hiking. Find a local park, grab a water bottle, spend the day outside. Watch out for poison oak. Watch out for snakes. Watch a new movie or show on Netflix or Hulu. Eh. Plan a weekend getaway. I don't have a weekend. I just have a Wednesday. Hang out with some friends. There you go. Thank you, Odyssey. TheOdysseyOnline.com Boy, a lot of mental work went into that. Thank you, Summer McIntyre. Well, I think we got some ideas there. Thank you. But I know my idea is going to be to stay away from people, stay away from my garage, and maybe say hi to some people here outside a cafe anyway, like these folks. Hello, Michael Myers. It's Madame Ruth. Big old yes. You should have a great day off. Ooh. Do you enjoy taking days off? Yes. Do you like being on this podcast? Yes. Do you like to get a massage? No. Yeah, sometimes getting a massage is very... I don't like that. It's too much stress. Look who else is here. <laughs> uh, there's people listening going, wait, what? No, that's the opposite of what a massage is supposed to do. Look who else is here. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And it's a bison Bentley. Do you know what I... Mike, you know what I like to do on my day off is buy a bunch of stuff online day. Yeah, buy stuff. Do you know what I... Hmm. Isn't that stressful when you get the credit card bill later on? Uh, he takes care of it. Yeah, I take care of it. I'm the stressed one. Do you know what I... See, it's good to have someone who can help you out. A money bags, if you will. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, John Deere the Engineer, and I hope your day, whatever day you are enjoying today, whatever day of the week it is, is not very stressful, and that you get off the dang social media and enjoy the real world, the real world of the people and things and trees and friends and air. Oh, that's a good thing, too. Enjoy air. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.